with Christmas around the corner, you might be searching through your favorite recipes for a tantalizing holiday dinner. Food is important, but don't forget the look of the meal. A festive table can add an awful lot to the holiday feel, and today we're going to learn how to accomplish just that. Joining me in Austin, New York, is the editor-in-chief of Country Living magazine, Rachel Newman. Good morning. Good morning, Paula. Nice to have you with us again. Thank you. Where is the best place to start when you're trying to create that unified look? Well, I think that since the family always gathers around the table in the dining room, there's nothing that they'll remember more than a spectacular table setting. And although green and red are traditional at Christmas time, this year ecology is on everybody's mind. So we've chosen a theme of natural things, living things, and a natural color scheme of beiges, browns, um, redware, so forth. So what you have working here in the middle of the table is really the, the focal point yeah. of, of the whole look. The centerpiece is always the most important thing. And what we've chosen for our centerpiece are live trees. We have topiaries. These are little teeny uh, herbal bushes that have been pruned into this shape, and they're very popular now, and a live azalea bush. And the beauty in that is that you can keep the centerpiece alive and on your table right through the season, and then when it gets warm enough, you can plant the azalea out in your backyard. Lots of uses. So explain to us how you uh, get started here. Well, we've made the centerpieces a little more festive by wrapping them with a, a natural linen. And again, keeping in our natural theme, all we do is just cut a piece of linen, fold the ends in, we take it and we wrap it turban style around the flower pot. And then we fold in the ends and we use these wonderful tea pins. These are great for everything around the house. You just fold it and fold it until it completely surrounds the pot, just as we have here. And then you tie it with a great big raffia bow. And this is nice oh, and it's stiff nice. to work with. So we can make a nice little chubby bow here. And then finally, we add cinnamon sticks right in the middle of the bow. Just add that, that last touch to it. And if you want, you can add a little bit of bittersweet as well. That's pretty. You also use the cinnamon sticks at some point in time as well. Yeah. Now, when it comes to setting the table, uh, a lot of folks have mix-matched sets. Uh, what's the best way to utilize it? Well, we love to mix and match things. You don't really have to use very fine china. We like to use whatever you have in the house. So what we've done for our table is we've used country redware with a heart in the middle of it. And this echoes the hearts in our cookies on our Christmas tree. And with that, we've used white ironstone for our bread plate. And we've even mixed and matched the goblets, the wine goblets and the water goblets. Whatever you have in the house, it, it all goes together as long as you maintain one uh, consistent color theme. And here we've kept it again in all the naturals with a little bit of white. And if you want to personalize the setting, uh, how do you go about doing that? Well, everybody always loves to see place cards at the table. It's very welcoming for your guests, and it also eliminates all that milling around when it's time to sit at the table. But we've gone a step further, and we've made personalized cookie name cards. Oh, guess who's coming to oh, dinner today? Oh, there's one of name on it. It's a great idea. Now, how about for kids? Because most of us are inundated with, with family at the holiday time. If you want to make the kids feel especially well, welcome, what should you do? kids always love gifts. In fact, we all do. And so what we've done, keeping again in our ecological theme and our color theme, we've, met, we've wrapped individual gifts for the guests to take home just in ordinary craft paper and tie them with raffia bows. And then if you'd like the kids to get involved in decorating the table, you might ask them to stencil little stars or something on the gifts. Keep them busy. Right. Uh, Mom or Dad right. is cooking in the kitchen. Well, it's nice to have you with us again today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a nice holiday. Thank you. And coming up tomorrow, we're going to teach you how to make Christmas wreaths and garlands. Harry?